Hi, I'm Tammy. And I'm Cindy, and we're the Hoosier Sisters in search of Forrest Finn's treasure. Today we're going to talk about the Canyon Down. I'll read the second stanza. Begin at where warm waters halt and take it in the canyon down. Not far, but too far to walk. Put in below the home of Brown. We have a special guest with us today, and he's part of our search team. His name is Elijah, and he attends Indiana University. He's a physics and astronomy major. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Elijah. <laughs> um, okay, so a canyon is a rift between two mountains, uh, like two mountain peaks. It can be like in the Rockies, and usually there's a river running through it, and, um, and it's also called a gorge. And my opinion on, on the canyon down is just, just like what you hear is... Um, is from where warm waters halt, there's then a canyon, and it's it's uh, going down as the river flows. So, or I guess um, some people might think of it as from the rim going down into the river. That could be the down part. Okay. And I have two things to say about it. I looked, I was watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos about fly fishing, and um, I discovered that fly fishermen often use the words below, under, and down to mean south. Very interesting, uh, because I was going to ask you guys um, what you thought when he's saying um, like the the whole poem, begin it where warm waters halt and take it in the canyon down. Do you think that he was talking about going by plane, by boat, by car, on foot? What what do you think, Elijah? What do you think? Um, I think it's probably um, by car or on foot because didn't he say at one point that? Um, only a few of the clues can be solved like using a map. The rest of it, you have to be there on the ground. Yes, he did. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts, Tammy? Well, I also wanted to point out that if you're in the, um, in certain areas, the whole canyon, you're all, you're in the canyon and you're, to me, Canyon down doesn't mean a whole lot because you're already in the canyon and you're down in the canyon. So, so maybe he was just using that to rhyme. Right. Very good. <laughs> um, another thing uh, some people have brought up is and uh, is when he says take it in the canyon down. Um, do you think that? What do you think it is? Do you think it is the path or the road, or do you think it's the treasure? What are your thoughts, Elijah? Um, I think it's probably take it, take your journey, take your path, take the, the route you're going to follow down through the canyon. Yep, take your quest down through the canyon. Very good. Mm -hmm. Did you know, fun fact, that the uh, largest canyon in the world is in Greenland and is covered by a sheet of ice. And it's 466 miles long. Not that that helps anybody. But. Is that where they just a... found out that a, a, an asteroid hit there? Did it? Like years ago, but they just found it out a couple of days ago. I don't know. Oh, I think it was Greenland. Huh. Huh. Did you know there's a canyon on Mars that's bigger than the United States? Oh my! <laughs> I did not know that. Another hey, fact. <laughs> I hope the insider gets to go over there and and look. Or is it insider or insight? It's insight, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you think it'll go over and look at the canyon? I don't know. That'd be so cool. Also, there are lots of canyons in Colorado, by the way. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Um, that's the, the estate that has the least searchers. But there are lots of canyons. Uh-huh. Yeah. And canyons are also an important archaeological um, area because there's lots of, uh, like, uh, cliff dwellings. In, and they're all like in the canyon. So that's why Forrest used to fly them, fly the canyons looking for caves. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So mm -hmm. anyway. Um, yeah, one time I even looked up Abajo Canyon, which means um, down, Abajo, down. But it's, it's south in New Mexico. It's too far south. Yeah, and I always uh, thought the Toltec gorge was interesting because you know that he said look up the words the nouns in the poem and and canyon also means gorge and that was the only gorge you came up with in new mexico mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. okay here's a question for you elijah forrest said that the he knows the treasure is wet physics tells him the treasure is wet what do you why do you think he says that well, he could be referring to something like condensation forming on the inside of the chest or on the outside of the chest, or it could be something where if the treasure, for example, is hidden inside like a crevice or some kind of rock formation, uh, water could trickle down from the top and down to where the treasure is or anything like that. Really. Mm -hmm. I love that. Um, I have a question for you, Elijah, about the poem itself. Do you believe that the, the uh, clues are within the poem, or do you believe that each sentence is a clue? Um, well, structurally, it would make sense because he said there's nine clues and there's nine sentences in the poem, so it would make sense to say that the uh, the each sentence is a clue, but didn't he say that the first clue was begin at where warm waters halt? Yes, he did. And that's not in the first sentence, right? Right. So right. I'm not really sure. And also when he revised the poem, he would say, he did say that he had to go back and count the clues and see how many were there when he would revise it. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know if that, I guess that could mean sentence or not sentence, but yeah, I, do, I don't believe each sentence is a clue. Yeah, remember that one stanza he said to somebody, sounds like three or four clues to me. Right, mm -hmm. right. I'm the one with the worst memory in case you haven't figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one for you, Elijah. What do you imagine that his secret spot looks like? Um, Just read all these words right here. <laughs> Ask me next. Ask me okay. next. Okay. <laughs> Can you skip me? Okay. <laughs> okay, Tammy, tell us what it looks like. Starting first, I want everybody to know wherever this treasure is at, it is a good place to die. <laughs> Apparently so. Apparently so. You got it's gonna be code for whatever reason he's told us a couple of different times. It's gonna be cold. You're gonna see mountains, you're gonna smell pines and sage. It's gonna be sunny and shady. And um there's gonna be animals, um, maybe a picnic spot for a sandwich. For some reason, he also told us to bring a flashlight, which if he was going to throw his bones on top or throw himself on top of the treasure and let the desert bleach his bones, then he wouldn't need a flashlight right there. So what do we need a flashlight for? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. There must be a parking lot nearby. and. Um, Blaze is nearby, something marvelous. Yeah. Um, here's a question that, that I always think about and I want to hear people's opinion is um, he said that the reason 
the spot is pers is special was too too personal to put in his autobiography that he put in the chest and i just like to get people's uh, thoughts on what why it would be too personal to put it in an auto he put it in there and then he took it back why would he do that you have any thoughts on that tammy i'm gonna have to think on that one what about you elijah could you say it again okay when he um he wrote his autobiography and put it in the chest originally he put the reason why the spot is special to him but then he took it out because it was too personal the autobiography is in the chest the autobiography is in the chest but the reason the, the spot is, <laughs> is special was too personal to put in the autobiography You don't know. It's tough. Well, I, would, I would say that it would be because it tells where the treasure is, but if it's in the chest, or is it anywhere else? Like, can you buy it in a store? It's just in the chest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah what, what it would be a personal <laughs> reason that you could not have in it for the world to see, you know, unless it would be hurtful to his family. That's my yeah family because they're the ones that'll be left Some, left somebody, behind. Mm -hmm. somebody would would feel would have there would be a, some reaction on some from somebody is my thoughts so mm -hmm. it's just that just kind of is in the back of my mind wonder what that is about mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so elijah what's on that whiteboard behind you, can um, you <laughs> i don't know if you can see it Hold it up in front of you. Yeah, hold it up. Yeah, we can see it. Yeah, what is all that? Uh, it's one of my uh, problems on my physics homework for this week. Is it backwards? <laughs> <laughs> well, on camera it could be. Is it backwards? No. Okay. <laughs> it's backwards to us. We wouldn't know. That's right. It's backwards to me. Yeah, but it's not to us. Okay. It was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool what is it yeah what is it um so the first thing i did um up here in this area was find the volume element for spherical coordinates which is this right here and then so this function right here is how you find the probability that a particle is in a specific location and in spherical coordinates you can solve for that using this equation um, now l here is used for determining the angular momentum or spin of a particle and so um, if you solve for um, this function here using these and then plugging that into this you can uh, show that if you go over the entire area uh, over an entire given area then you can find that the probability is one and that basically proves that, that function is true cool <laughs> and yes he really does use a whiteboard like sheldon and leonard <laughs> <laughs> but he's way cuter than them two <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, okay, so what Elijah is the probability that will somebody will find this chest and when? When do you think it'll be found? Um, as time goes to infinity, the probability approaches one. So. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that means. <laughs> as time goes on, eventually somebody will find it. Huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, but what if? What if? There's a huge um, cataclysmic restructuring of that area. That then maybe no one will ever find it. Maybe, but didn't he say that the treasure would be there for a thousand years or thousands of years or something? He's hoping. Mm -hmm. That's right. 
So mm -hmm. that kind of makes you think it's not in Yellowstone, doesn't it? Here's yeah. what I know about Yellowstone. <clears throat> I'll read it. Yellowstone is, is an incredibly dynamic place. Geysers and earthquakes, the ground moves up and down continuously. If you look at uh, some of the um, earthquake seismographic charts, um, Yellowstone has earthquakes uh, uh, like daily, one, just one or two magnitude, but uh, you know, almost daily. It's so unstable. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm just, I'm really concerned that that's not gonna be around in a thousand years. And besides that, uh, it's too dangerous to take my babies to. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, um, Elijah, do you have any more thoughts on the poem and the treasure? Anything you want to say? Any last words? Um, Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> last words today in this video on the treasure. Thank you. <laughs> um, I remember hearing one time that he said um, that there's something that people are missing, something they're not focusing on. So yeah. I think that as when people normally look at what they think are the clues or the nine clues or however many clues that they are able to identify, I think there's one that is consistently being missed. So I think that's something that's important to look out for. Okay. Do you have any thoughts on what that is? Um, it, let me pull up the poem. Okay. While you're doing that, Tammy, do you have any thoughts on on um, what what people might be missing? Um. Well, I've said it before. Wherever the treasure is, it's in there. Right. In mm -hmm. there. Perhaps why we need a flashlight. Right. I know, I know, don't give me no grief. It's not in a cave, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the the fifth stanza of the poem, it's, so why is it that I must go? Yeah. Uh, do people typically identify any clues within that stanza? No. Then that may be something to look at. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Food for thought. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, it's curious. It's a curious stanza anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. Oh, look at us. We all just went, huh. huh. You know, we've been at this about five years. Why didn't you tell us this sooner? <laughs> <laughs> he always says think. Oh yeah, I got those wrote wrote down somewhere. Think, focus, yeah. listen, hear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess that's it for tonight. Elijah, thank you for being our guest. It yeah. was very enlightening. And we hope that you join us again. Yes. All right, thank you for having me. Well, uh, that's it for us. And we want to wish you luck with your search. And we'll see you next time. Good luck. Bye. Bye.